Hello friends, welcome to Mastering VMware. My name is Mayur Parmar and in this video I will show you how you can add ESXi host to your vCenter server. So before adding your host, first login to your vSphere web client. So after logged in successfully, go to host and clusters to add your host. And now you can see the available hosts are here. So you can directly add your host to your data center directly or you can add your host to a cluster. But we are adding host to our cluster. So right click on cluster, click on add host. And now here provide the host name or IP address of your ESXi host. So I am providing the IP address here. Click next. Provide the root credentials, root username and password. And now you can see the host summary here such as host version and the available virtual machines on your ESXi host. So click next. And now here you can also assign license to your ESXi host. So for assigning license to your host, click on green button to add license. But we don't have any license. So we will not doing it. And we are going with evaluation license, which is available for 60 days. So click on next. And now here you can also configure lockdown mode as per your requirement. But we are going with disable default. Click next. And now we are ready to add the add our host to our vCenter server so review all the details and click finish to add host and now we can see that our host is added successfully Now you can see that our host is added successfully. So now if you want to configure time in your ESXi host which is network time protocol NTP server. So just go to manage. Choose your host first. Go to manage. In the settings tab. In the system. Time configuration. And here you can get your time configuration for your host. So by default it is disabled and stopped so click on edit button to configure it so here you can uh, manually configure the time and date for the host or you can also use ntp for your host so for configuring ntp first start the ntp service and you can also provide the ntp service startup policy and you can and provide the NTP servers here such as in.pool.org which is test server just and click OK and now you can see that the NTP client is enabled and NTP service is running so that's it for today guys thank you for watching the video you can check out more step by step article on our website which is the masteringvma.com link is available in the description below so if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more videos. Please like and share the video. Thank you.